COVID restrictions are loosening across the country as case counts continue to fall, but a very different scenario is playing out in other parts of the world. In China, Beijing residents are flooding local stores, buying as many supplies as they can. This as the city plans for more mass testing in response to a COVID surge. 16 million residents will be tested this week alone, and dozens of residential areas are under lockdown, with folks there unable to leave their homes. Texas A&M Chief Virologist Dr. Ben Newman is back with us with more on the situation in China and beyond. Dr. Newman, great to have you back with us. Throughout the pandemic, we have seen COVID outbreaks in other parts of the world before they happened here. Should we be concerned about a similar situation as what's happening in China? I think it's a possibility, yeah. And we're already seeing a rise in cases, particularly on the east coast of the U.S. And if the trend holds, and you're never sure if it will or not, um, normally what happens on the east coast is going to be replicated in the south about a month, month and a half later. So uh, we're watching and we're waiting, and things are still okay at the moment, but I do not expect them to stay that way uh, indefinitely, given the changes in uh, restrictions uh, being lifted. I got a tip from a health professional who said that they are open to anyone coming and getting a second booster. Now, that hasn't been said officially. We're hearing that that could be the next step from top health officials. Do you agree with that next step? Is it necessary? And what's your advice to Texans? Yeah, that is perfectly in line with the science. I guess I can't advise people to go out and uh, break regulations, uh, which is what that would amount to. But uh, at the same time, I know it's going on. And uh, generally, the more doses you get, the better the response against the new variants like Omicron and the better the overall uh, protection. Uh, after a booster, it goes up to something like 60% protection. And if you get another booster on top of that, it just gives you a little more time and a little less to worry about. Dr. Newman, some encouraging news. We hear that Pfizer has just requested emergency use authorization for its COVID vaccine for younger children. What are your thoughts about that and what do parents need to know at this stage? Yeah, the under fives are the final frontier in terms of vaccination. This is the only uh, population in America that is unvaccinated and it's not by choice. So, um, this is also a population that's seen a great number of COVID cases in the past. Uh, when they go back and look at uh, blood from the children, there are often markers that a very large percentage of them have been infected. Uh, it's a gateway that will let COVID into your house and potentially let it spread among other people. So this is important. Uh, and I think in addition to making the vaccine available, the messaging around it. Uh, this, this isn't something to fear, and I think that's uh, something that maybe needs a little more uh, tuning. But the new dose is supposed to be one-tenth of the adult dose. Uh, they're talking about three micrograms right now. And based on the results in the journals, that seems like a very reasonable uh, dose for that size individual. And um, it seems to work well. The boosters work in younger children, just like they do in older uh, kids and adults. So I think it's a good thing. Parents who are open to vaccinating their younger kids have been waiting for years for this to happen. I'm so glad for them that we are one step closer. Dr. Newman, it is always a pleasure. Thank you for your time. Dr. Cross, anytime.